So I got the dead cat on and uh, I just had a motorcycle drive by. Definite breeze going and I'm not seeing that pick up on the mic, so that's kind of cool. And uh, I just have this at arm's length, I have it on a little pocket trip or a table trap tripod that I'm using. It's the handle. Um, don't have any kind of stabilization, so this is bouncing all over the place. What I did is I changed my uh, mic input to minus 12 dB. I want to see how it's picking up kind of ambient sound and uh, picking up my voice. So I'm speaking at, you know, a little bit of projection right now, uh, just at arm's length on a table tripod and uh, you know I'm not seeing any breeze just as I was when I had it at minus 6 dB so it might be minus 8 would be a sweet spot if I can get it set okay, to that. So now we are at minus 8 dB still at uh, arm's length with the tripod panning just a little bit there I gotta figure out a sweet spot for how to hold this so my arm doesn't fall off um, I kind of like this. This is a, it's a good mic. I can already tell the difference between this and just doing the onboard mics for the camera. So here you have just the onboard mic. So I'm with my right hand because my left arm was getting tired and uh, I'm not right-handed. So, and you probably can't hear me at all right now because you hear nothing but wind. This is how windy it was when I was using the uh, the Movo Pro. Okay, so I like this mic. Uh, I'm, I came to the conclusion looking at the footage that I took that setting my my amp inside or my preamp inside the Lumix G7 minus 12 really cut out most of the ambient noise gave me a nice clear uh, voice coming over the audio and I'm very impressed I'm very pleased with this pickup for 50 bucks you can't beat it comes with a great uh, shock mount it comes with a foam windscreen it comes with the dead cat windscreen that you got to put over that in order to get them to both work still doesn't give you uh, a real muffled sound as it comes out uh, and it's just easy to plug in